Welcome to another segment of Gamer's Station and today I've got a mobile game for you and this one is actually very very interesting it's called Monument Valley. Now it sounds really intriguing and it's sort of a puzzle game but for around 13 ringgit for iOS and Android this one is very very interesting and it's all about manipulating your environment and working with optical illusions. Intrigued? Well, I was, and I can say that it's very, very interesting, very, very unique, and very, very well made. So let's go have a look at Monument Valley. So how does the game actually play? Well, it's quite simple to be exact, really. I mean, you just sort of I mean, manipulate your environment by scrolling left and right, interacting with the world, turning things up and down, and just moving around your character. Now, the most interesting thing about this game and that I find, really, is that the amount of instructions given is very, very little. The first level, when you start the game, it says this is how you move, this is how you turn things, and no further instructions are given, which means that everything you do in the world, for example, turning these things or moving around, around the world like that, basically, it's all up to you to discover and explore and experiment. There's even a point in the game where they introduce new mechanics into the game and they don't explain it. For example, there's one part where it says, an unexpected encounter. And during that, that, that level, that mission, you're gonna have an unexpected encounter and you're not gonna know exactly what to do. So the actual game length is quite short, really. I mean, if you rush through the game, you can probably finish it within an hour. And if you take your time, then it will probably take a total of around two hours to actually get through the 10 levels that it comes with. And just in general, that, that's plenty because I spent about a week playing the game. I sort of went you know, bit by bit, and I found it much more enjoyable that way, but if you're the speed game it's type, then that's fine. But one thing that should be mentioned is the optical illusion part of this game. So for example, it's called Monument Valley, so it's all about manipulating these structures, these monuments within the game, uh, but as you turn things around, and as you sort of move around the world, you'll notice that things don't always line up like they should. So for example, something that looks, as long as it looks like that you can walk across it, you can walk across it. So even if two things aren't directly next to each other, then if you just change your perspective by looking at it from another angle, by rotating the world, then it might look like it connects and then for all intents and purposes, it does connect. So it plays with optical illusions and perspective and that's what makes it a really, really interesting and unique puzzle game because it's not just about solving puzzles logically, it's about seeing things from another perspective. And I can tell you, even though this game is vertical, many times you might want to turn the screen to other sides, maybe even upside down, to actually understand what you're looking at because it's not, uh, it's not always the right way up. So should you be interested in Monument Valley? Well, if you like puzzle games, then you're going to love this game because it's absolutely amazing. And just sort of interacting with the world by pressing a certain button, it's gonna raise platforms and what you thought was impossible is gonna be completely possible in this game. So if you're looking for puzzle games, this is definitely a steal at just over 13 ringgit. I mean, you could spend a lot more money for a lot worse experience. So this, it comes with 10 levels by default, but they did add on an expansion for another eight levels, which is around seven-ish ringgit. So if you really like the game, you can buy the extra eight levels, but if you just wanna go through the first 10, then it's just a great experience by, by itself. And also I have to mention the soundtrack and the sound design of the game is actually amazing. I mean, uh, if you actually listen to the nuances of the music, of the sound effects, of what's going on, it's really, really cool. And also there is sort of a subtle story in the background. And as you go through the level, it sort of tells you this story in a very minimal way and it's actually it's a little sad at some points but also the whole thing is is a beautiful package it's very well made and you don't really get mobile games which are so refined every day so definitely one to watch
Alas, we're at the end of another episode of Gadget Nation, but firstly, I want to thank RGB on Jalan Damai, which is off Jalan Ampang, for hosting us here today. Very kind of them, very relaxed atmosphere. And of course, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, etc. We would absolutely love to hear from you about anything you've seen on the show or anything you want to see on the show. Now, do you remember that last scene of Forrest Gump where he's just sitting on the chair on the bench waiting for his son? Yeah, that's like me. I literally sit and wait on a chair till the next week where a brand new episode of Casual Nation will start. So allow me to be. My name is Adam Carruthers and we'll see you same time, same place next week.